What is up, everybody? Welcome to another J and T's Fresh Take. T, how you doing, man? All right, man. Let's get it going. All right. Now, I told y'all in our previous Fresh Take at our trip down memory lane that tonight we were going to be talking about the lovely Wonder Woman. Mm. And not the 1970s Wonder Woman, the actual movie that came out, you know, Friday. So <laughs> mm-hmm. this review, as all of my reviews are, is spoiler filled. If you do not want to be spoiled, please check out blog.geekalley.net and check out my um, spoiler free review there. And then come back after you watch the movie to um, check this out. But this one is spoiler filled. So, man, I'm going to go on and start this off. Uh, DC, you are to be commended. This is what happens when you add sun to your movies. <laughs> uh, it, it, this one was a breath of damn fresh air, dude. It started with Suicide Squad. I told people then. People were mad, but I was like, look, it was a step in the right direction because they added some goddamn personality to the movie. Mm-hmm. I, so th- that was in the right direction. Suicide Squad had its flaws, but that was in the right It was headed in the right direction, in my opinion, despite the flaws that it had. This was just thank you. That's all people were saying. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all it was. Uh, I would do a short little synopsis, but it's kind of a coming of age story. It's kind of a coming of age slash fish out of water slash. Yeah. There's an origin story. In there. Do not piss off of Amazon. <laughs> 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 um, but I, I would say overall, because I, I do have a, a small. I have like three gripes with the movie. One of them is kind of minor. One of them may be seen as a nitpick, and the other one is just like, okay, come on. But <laughs> before we get into that, I just want to get T's overall thoughts, and then we'll start positive and then go negative. So, T. Uh, love this flipping movie. I started thinking to myself, because uh, Man of Steel is my favorite DC um, EU movie so far, I'm not counting like, you know, Dark Knight stuff. I'm talking about the extended universe stuff. Um, I loved it. Like, I, it was like, do I put this above Man of Steel? Because I love Man of Steel. It's right. It's probably above Man of Steel. I'm just <laughs> go ahead and concede yeah. that this is, uh, I like this more than I like Man of Steel. And for me, that's a lot. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings on Man of Steel. I loved it. But um, I want to eat some crow because I'm not sure I, if I ate enough crow during the, the Batman v Superman uh, discussion we did. Um, but Gal Gadot, you are the queen of the world. Like you, you nailed Wonder Woman. And I was one of the people like beforehand that was like, oh, she, she was terrible. Her acting before this has been terrible. I don't know what they're thinking. I know she's a pretty face and she's too small, blah, 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 blah. I'm eating crow. I, I will take my comeuppance because she killed Wonder Woman. She is Wonder Woman. And she went to work after hearing all the criticism and she got it done. So highly, rec- highly commend her for that. Um, like you said, this is an origin story and it was so good because you cared about the origin. Unlike a lot of origin stories, just kind of meander through it <laughs> just <laughs> to, get to the, get to the quote unquote good stuff. Um, it was good. You know, it was, cause you cared, you cared about the characters that she was around. You cared about her. You saw her kind of, um, she was, I love the fact that she was a hero from the start because she wanted to do greatness from the beginning. She wasn't like unsure of herself. She was very sure. She was naive, sure, but she was very sure of herself and she wanted to, you know, do good, great things. And um, a lot of these superhero movies, they don't start off that way. Um, um, obviously, people have that issue with Superman. He, he's not sure of himself yet or who he is and that kind of a thing. But I think that works better for him because of where he came from. And this works better for uh, Wonder Woman because she, where, her, where she came from and her upbringing. So uh, I can't, uh, I'd have to nitpick to find something I didn't like. I, I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't want to say it was slow because I think it, it was slow where it needed to be. And, you know, I, I wanted to complain about the ending, but I, because I thought I would have to, because you know how superhero ending, superhero movie endings are with their big, kind of dumb boss fight (laughs) at the end. But uh, this worked for the movie. Again, it worked for the movie, and I want to commend the director. What's her name? Uh, Patty Jenkins. Patty Patty Jenkins. She killed it. She understood Wonder Woman. It it wasn't just a oh let's get to the action crap. She 
made you care about the characters. And I just want to say real quickly before I let you get back in, is that this is what I didn't like about Rogue One. A lot of people um, didn't like the fact that I didn't like Rogue One. I thought it was uh, really? just, I thought it was, I didn't like it at all. And oh, the, re I the reason I didn't like Rogue One um, going back is, is I didn't care for the characters. I can feel you on that. Like, I didn't care about that group, and I, I should have, because, you know, the action was great, all that stuff, mm -hmm. fine. But I, if I don't care about the action because I don't care about the characters, then it doesn't work. For me, this is what – these characters here, this group, this band of uh, anti-heroes that she got together with to go on to, to fight the war with, that is what you needed in Rogue One to make it work, yep. I think. And I didn't, I didn't get that. But I completely agree. Yeah, so I loved it through and through. and. Uh, I want to go see it again. <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm waiting to go see it again. So, okay. So here, here's my thing. That now we're gonna start off with the good. We're gonna start off with the good because the good is gonna go a long way. Because like I said, I only have like a couple of of things that I didn't like, and th that's just a couple of things. Um, <laughs> the, let's start off with the Amazons. Mm -hmm. God, freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right now. They showed you doing the training, and I did not know that was Robin Wright until the end of the movie. Oh, what? you didn't know that? I did not know that. I knew I it was in the first trailer. I was like, dang, Robin Wright's in this? I, I couldn't tell because, you know, she had the big um, the big uh, tiara headpiece on, and I'm like... Oh, and she went to she went to the gym, by the way. She I could tell. Gym. I'm like, Daddy. <laughs> the people like, I was like, where's Robin Wright? I could I could tell who Connie Nielsen is. I mm -hmm. could tell who the other to who the other senator lady was. She was a um she was she was in the last Olympics. Mm -hmm. So I was I was telling who some of these women were, and I'm like, they said um Robin Wright's in this. I don't see her. And then I'm like, at the end of the movie, they said Antiope is Robin Wright. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so Hey, look, I know some people probably picked it up off the I didn't. I don't know why. But look, the, the Amazons, regard, they did an awesome job. The women did an awesome job. And I think it goes back to what you said, um, Patty Jenkins. She obviously did her research, and I thank her for it. Mm -hmm. but, yes, yes, yes. When you do your research for a comic book movie, and people act like it's hard to do research for a it comic book movie. No, it, it really ain't. <laughs> it really ain't. I mean, just go to any comic book store. They will tell you. Yeah, we will tell you. We ain't we ain't assholes about it. We'll tell you. <laughs> Hell, you can go to YouTube and just find a, a a a big you know whatever comic book fan you or comic book character you're looking for. Find a fan of that character and just watch their videos. Like, yeah, they, they will tell you, you everything you, you need don't want to read. <laughs> yeah, that, so so she did she did her research and they did a good job. I love the way Paradise Island looked. I love the way like like I said I love the training sequences. I love seeing all of the I like the how they actually did cuz if you if you know anything about Greek mythology about the Amazons, you you know a couple a few things. And I actually liked how they did the diversity. I'm not going to get into the whole Amazon thing right now. Mm -hmm. That that's like a whole two days of review. Um <laughs> but they did it well in showing that there were different races in the Amazonian Amazonian culture because if you read mythology, you will get the kind of hint that that's kind of what they did. Mhm. Mm um, because there, there's a reason why there ain't no men there, and it ain't for what you think it is. They did have they did have little girls there, but it was for a, a more jacked up reason than you think. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I liked how they did it. Yeah, it was. You know, that was awesome. That action when now the when the action sequence starts when 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 Chris Pine because we haven't got to him yet when Chris Pine's character shows up on the mascara and you see them put the training into action. Oh my goodness! That sequence, that entire like ten minute sequence, is off the chain. As a matter of fact, there's only one other beach scene that I've seen in the movie, and that's from Roroni Kitchen. Um, the legend, um, ends beach scene that was right. That was uh, that. That's on par with that, and that's those two scenes. Mm. They did an excellent job of showing you why you don't mess with the Amazon. Why it don't matter that you got a gun, you still gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you you just gonna die. It don't matter what weapon you got. You dealing with warriors. You don't. <laughs> you shooting your little bombs. All right, that's cool. All right, fine. But you, if you miss, you better not miss. Because <laughs> if you miss, you gonna catch it. And and yeah, they don't miss. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> so I, I loved how that how that went on. Um, Connie Nielsen did a great job as her politics. Because at first I was like, I mean, they ain't gonna show her politics to fight. Man, they showed the pilot to get off that damn horse. Mm. Um, let's just say the first two Germans called it nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mean, I hate to be like that, but yeah, them dudes. I'm like, them, 
idiots. Yeah, you know. What I'm <laughs> so they, I, I love that whole sequence. And going into the fish out of water stuff, because that's where the, a lot of the comedy comes in. And like you said, they they did a good job of her being naive, but not Goku levels of naive. Yeah, and that you and know? the comedy came out of that. It wasn't like, oh, let's drop some one liners. No, yeah, yeah. Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, Marvel all, does that a lot. And right. Me, the, me and you have talked about that. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's the better comedy when the comedy comes from the story, comes from the fact that she's a fish out of water. That's the good stuff. Not like, not just stupid one liners every you know five minutes or so. Yeah. That's why it was so good to me. That's what made, what made it better. Yeah, because the the and it was the way they did it. Because I forgot how good of a comedic actor Chris Pine is. Mm. So when they were having their little talks and stuff like that, like <laughs> about the, the sleeping talking together, the <laughs> about like sleeping together, and he was, and she was basically calling him, pulling his car. She was, <laughs> <laughs> you pulling his man car. I'm like, man, I was saying, be the man, if you don't be a man and get down there, she told you to go sleep with her man. You better be a man and represent. <laughs> I'm like, dude, stop, stop yeah. out, man. <laughs> you making us look bad. You scared her, man. <laughs> she ain't gonna kill you. She saved you, man. Yeah, she ain't scared. Why you scared, bro? Yeah, why you scared? <laughs> hey, just don't do nothing crazy. You're right. <laughs> she will wreck you. Yeah. You cut out of line. So. so just don't get out of line. Just be smooth with it, man. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. It, that and, and the way they they did it, like th- there's a part in there where she's like, where they're trying to where they're trying to get her to dress a little bit differently because yeah. of, let's be well, honest, the stuff in the trailer that I was like, oh no, I hope this isn't what we're gonna get, and then I go to watch the movie and I don't laugh at this part because I've seen it so much, I still laughed <laughs> because yeah. there was more to it. There's way more to it. They pulled a Deadpool where like, yeah, you saw it in the trailer, mm-hmm. you didn't see all of it, you didn't see all of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Th- there's there's that that whole sequence of her changing clothes and like how do you fight in this and then like she was actually walking in with a sword and a shield through it. <laughs> oh man, through one of them rotating doors. Let and, me add. Oh, I'm gonna, let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. You remember uh, uh, the original Superman uh, by Richard Donner, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at this movie and I'm like, there's some Superman like stuff going on in here. Superman Richard Donner stuff going on in here, and I'm like, she's got to have been influenced by that, you know. I saw and, I saw spots of that too. Yeah, and I looked up later, and it said that that was definitely an influence on in her when she, when she was a young girl. Was the original Superman movie, and I was like, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, the glasses, the whole glasses yeah. sequence was. Yeah, exactly. There's a little more to it, but go ahead. I'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that that um, that whole and, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I love the chemistry between Gal Gadot and Chris Pine because Great if chemistry. you know anything about the comics, you know about Steve Trevor. Mm-hmm. You know how, what they what they mean to each other in the comics. I like how they played it because one, in the, and I have a problem with this with any action superhero movie. I freaking hate romance in my action superhero movies because I think it. I think we waste time on that. Mm-hmm. This one, I think they did it right. They did it. I did, they did it expertly. I think. Yeah, because one, yes, it's there. Yes, there's a mutual attraction. Yes, you know, it's not. They don't and beat it, you over the head with it. Right. And it was character building. You got yeah. character out of uh, you know um, Wonder Woman from that. You got uh, motivation, even especially for the ending. You know that ending was just I I yeah. teared up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, the, end, the ending got me because when I realized what he what they was about to do, yeah. I'm like, oh hell, bro, damn. Yeah. And, and you I'm got like, her motivation go. from what happened, and it's just yeah. like. Oh, like that. That is when you have a good love story. That's when you have a good romance story in these type of films is when it motivates the character um, to do whatever they're doing. That's even like Spider-Man. I thought um, um, the original Spider-Man movie, mm-hmm. um, even though I didn't care for who played uh, Mary Jane as oh, much. Yeah, we can pass, we can not <laughs> in agreement on that. Even though I didn't care for that, I care for the fact that he motivated her. I believed it, you know? Yeah. So, that's what I I felt with these two characters, and I will have to say this. Um, you know, c- certain um, um people need to understand the reason why you got to have chemistry between your two leads. If your two yeah. leads ain't got no chemistry, we're gonna be able to tell that in the theater. If right. they don't even like each other, they can't get along. We're gonna be able to tell that in the theater. <laughs> you know, can't lie to the people. Camera. camera doesn't lie. Yeah, I mean, um, Natalie Portman, Hayden Christian. If y'all don't like each other, <laughs> you know, we're gonna be able to tell that. You can't get mad at the, at, at the script, even this, even if the script bad. You can't get mad at the script if you know we can tell y'all don't like each other, right? Right. <laughs> but if you if they have a genuine, you know, 
you can tell they they probably hang out offset. Yeah, you know, come on, we could we could tell they probably hung out offset because they they both like they was having fun. So the chemistry was there and it worked. So it was believe it was more believable, especially because like you said at the end, you are gonna need it to be believable. Mm-hmm. You really it, gonna need it to be believable because you don't believe like, you are gonna be sitting there like her just the hell on. Right. Yeah. Very much like uh, what's your boy who plays Star Lord, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah. Very much like him. I always hear, you know, from you know, reading interviews and stuff like that, that people love Chris Pine. Like he's he's a very fun dude. He's always cracking jokes. He's fun to be around, and you could tell through the movie like that 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 helped you know the chemistry between him and even even the the, the guys too. Like the the characterization of those guys and their camaraderie, you can felt you felt that. Like and it, it it gave it weight without being like overbearing, like the Indian dude, like oh yeah, yeah, he was like um, well, what happened to your people? His people basically, what you know, you, the, yeah. the, I can't remember exactly how the line went, but he was basically saying, you know, Chris Pine's people, you know, basically wiped my people out, kind of a deal, and it was just like wow, like that. There's some weight, <laughs> and it wasn't like all in your face. Let's have a whole you know five minutes talking about that. It was just like boom. There was some characterization and even that little line. Yeah. And it works. Can, can I tell you one of my favorite lines from the movie? What's the, up? The, the, their um their French dude, their intelligence, their spy dude that does all the languages and stuff. Yeah. When they were in the bar and she um caught the gun and threw the butt across the, the <laughs> yeah. thing. And he was like, I am frightened and aroused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so everybody in my theater jumped in laughter about that yeah. one. That was a good, uh, good line. Because it was such a deadpan line because he delivered like, <laughs> It was I'm perfect. Like, I'm scared and turned on. What the hell? He was like, what, they were Inspector Crusoe. Was it Crusoe from King uh, Panther? Crusoe. Yeah, Crusoe. Cluso, that's it, from Pink Panther. He reminded me of that dude so much. And when he dropped that line, I died. Yeah. I was like, that was perfect. That was perfect. And again, comedy out of the situation, not thrown into the situation. Yeah, not thrown into it. Because there's another time when when he, when he Chris is telling him about Paradise Island, he's mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me there's a whole bunch of women like her <laughs> and there ain't no man there? The whole lot. How can I get there? <laughs> that was great. That was great. Like He would be the one man that survives in that situation. He would be, <laughs> cause they did little things like that. So you got you got to know, um, cause they were basically like, um, uh, cause it really was just them. They were basically like a, a a little platoon. It wasn't like a Howling right. Commandos thing. It was basically just them going against orders, right, to try to stop the the main villains from unleashing this mm-hmm. gas. They had a little rogue group and I could not, I'm telling you, I could not stop thinking about Rogue One watching that group of dudes. So I'm like, I like these people, I care about these people way more than I ever cared about those guys because they have character. You know, there's, there's something there. I didn't there. want them to die. Yeah, I didn't want any of them to die. I, was yeah, like, I didn't want any of them to die because it was too cool. Right. So, that, that in and of itself is like a testament because like I said, I, I agree with you on the Rogue One. Thing, that was, I, I mean, that was a big part of it, you know, because yeah. they, they're the main characters. And that was the big part of what ruined that movie for me was that I just didn't care about those guys at all. And, you know, that's 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 important. <laughs> you got to yeah. care about the main characters. And I cared way more about these this group. I'm like, man, if she would have directed that movie and got those guys, you know, care, you know, I think it would have been a way better movie. But that's, just, you know, personal. Yeah. Uh, it's a personal, uh, you know, observation. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say this: I did like the the way this movie was shot. Uh, but then again, Patty Jenkins' movies are always shot well. Um, mm. That's one thing that, like, if you watch any of her movies, like Hurt Locker and Hurt Locker, um, what's the other one she did? Uh, Zero Dark Thirty. It's th- they're all shot well, and this is no different. Um, especially when you get to like London and you see like the London areas and the little villages and stuff like that. Uh, those are the more uh, I hate to, have to say it like this, uh, Zack Snyder esque parts mm-hmm. of the movie, yeah. but well, it was it was appropriate though. You go it was appropriate though because because of World War One. The setting is World right. War One, and World War One. If you've read anything about it, World War One was a jacked up war. Yeah, it just was. It was, a, it, and we don't really get to see enough about it unless you watch. Yeah, nobody really talks about it as much. Yeah, as much about it. It's always World War Two. Yeah, because World War One was a dirty, grimy war, yeah. and. This leads into my other love of the movie, the action, the scene where it's one of the it's going to wind up being one of the most iconic moments in cinema when she when that village lady tells her that 
can you please help us? And she's like, you know what? I'm getting goosebumps. You, you just about <laughs> setting it up. <laughs> yeah, she was like, you know what? Steve, we got to help these people. He's like, no, we got to go look. This is no man's land. We can't get out. And like, if you... Uh, he went through that whole spiel about how it's been a year. Nobody's yeah. been able to do it. Do a minute. And she's like, you know what? Hell, the hell with this. Now, there was one point where I'm like, okay, how the hell you change that fast? Anyway, oh, <laughs> she, she got out the clothes, got in that Wonder Woman armor. She walks up. Now, you've seen it in the trailer. They don't show the whole sequence, yeah. though. You see it in the trailer. She walks up into it, and it's a slow-moving mo slow part, and she just basically wrecks shop. She wrecks. And when Steve sees it, he's like, he thinks she's about to get killed because, of course, he don't believe that she's a demigod, which... By this point, you already know she's You would be girl. like, really, bro? You don't, you've seen her do some crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one of the disbelief parts of the movie. Right. Like, that, was bro, my, okay, I think, that was my one gripe. I'll give you. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> like, bro, at this point, <laughs> you just delude you yourself not now. <laughs> but, like, yeah, come on. <laughs> and, and she just, she gets up and she, you see the first bullet. You see the second bullet. Mm -hmm. Then they shoot a shell at her and she drops the shell. She basically pimp slaps the shell <laughs> <laughs> she keeps what well, she starts running it's still slow motion and like you're like watching this you're like holy shit and you start seeing the guys in the trenches like we can do this we can do it and the next thing you know they all start gunning and they clear and she clears the whole thing out they go to the village the village <laughs> now people this is why i like superhero stuff because you need to be super Mm -hmm. She starts picking up tanks. She starts, <laughs> no way. She's freaking Wonder Woman. Yeah, she but it builds. Up. It isn't. She don't just run in there and wreck everything. Yeah, she's still learning her powers and her abilities. So it kind of builds. It. She starts off doing something a little extra nor, extraordinary, and it builds yeah. up to this. And then she. Then all of a sudden, she's like, you know, tackling tanks. <laughs> yeah. you know, like it works because it. You built up to that. It wasn't just boom. She's out there doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah. But I'm glad that they put it in because sometimes, man, let, let's be honest. Sometimes these movies they try to no, we need to base it and ground it. Yeah, ground no. in reality. No, no, dude, no, she, no. <laughs> She's these a, people aren't real. They're demigods. <laughs> yeah, so let them do what they do. You know, let them do what they do. Right. And when she picked up that tank and threw it, <laughs> in that other tank, people were in my theater cheering on that. I'm like, like thank you. I'm yeah. like, finally, thank you. <laughs> It was, but, oh, it was so good. <laughs> and when she jumped, the, if, I felt so hard for the sniper, man. Mm, I didn't feel for him. You know what I thought about when I saw that? I was, thought, I was thinking about Full Metal Jacket. No, that damn no, sniper no. that was taking, popping everybody off. And I'm like, they needed Wonder Woman in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I felt sorry for him, because like, not only did he die, yeah. he got crushed in a church. <laughs> he got demolished. So you literally. know he went straight to hell. <laughs> 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 like, he going to be at the gates. God, God himself going to come out and be like, you was in my house doing that foolishness. And I, I had to be a smart ass in the theater, because it, it was kind of quiet that she demolished it. And I was like, <laughs> it was quiet. And I was like, oh, I wonder if he's OK. And people cracked up. <laughs> <laughs> Like people around me were cracking up. I was like, <laughs> "When you see it, you know he's not gonna be the next one." <laughs> no, no, he's not coming back as Crossbones. Yeah, yeah. He's, not coming back. <laughs> he, he's done. They left. They left you no doubt that he was dead. <laughs> so it, it was little things like that because, like, that's a long sequence. It's not a short sequence. No, it was a long sequence. Yeah. It's about twenty minutes. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, it starts at at the trenches and goes straight into the village. This is one continuous, it's not a continuous shot, but it's a continuous build, 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 because it starts It starts soft at the trenches, and she starts, you can tell she's getting more strong, and, but you can also tell she's starting to enjoy the fighting. Yeah. She's, and it was just like it was in Batman versus Superman. And Batman versus Superman, when she shows up. She smiles. <laughs> yeah, the more she starts fighting Doomsday, yeah. the more she starts smiling and starts getting into it. It's the same thing. Yep. She, she starts getting it. You start feeling like, okay, this she's getting crazy. She got a bloodlust. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just keeps building until she pretty much rescues that entire village. Yep. And you get to see Chris Pine and his crew, what they do best. And you're like, dude, okay, these dudes really ain't. I'm like, I don't understand why they didn't send them to begin with. Yeah, they're a rogue unit, and they if they're that good. You send them anyway, right? If they brought you back that intelligence that they brought back, you're like you send them anyway. If they tell you they planning on doing this, they these people don't care about your peace treaty because they didn't. <laughs> exactly. So, 
you need to let them go do what they do. But of course, to build dramatic tension for the movie, they, the superiors had to say no. Right, it had to be that way. That's just yeah. That's so writing, that, writing one on one, right there. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sitting there like, shoot, they did it anyway. I'm like these dudes are off the chain. Now I will give your boy Chris Prime props because uh, he had Dr. Poison. She was about, she was gonna rape him. <laughs> Seriously, she was gonna get rape ready, him. I'm like, get ready to the draws on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm like, because she was like, because he was just, and all he was doing putting that Barry White on him. He was smooth. Yeah, he was smooth. That's all he was doing. And I'm sitting there like, she was falling hook, line, and sink. I'm like, yep. uh, I was about to say, hey, uh, Steve, man, you know her face messed up under that mask, right? Yeah. He had her until, you know, Diana showed up in that blue dress. You know, yeah. So. And that, that just made her mad. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like baby, baby, he didn't mean it, baby. He, ain't, he didn't mean it, girl. Come on, I stop playing. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that, that, whole, and that, that whole sequence that entire sequence, they did a good job of making you believe. Now, now we're finna get into some spoiler territory, so I, I, I don't, if, if you don't want to hear this, now it's just time to check out, because I'm finna spoil it. I told you already from the beginning. So. Yeah, I told you already, so if you're still here, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so Aries is the big bad of this movie. Mm-hmm. Aries is in this movie, but they did a good job of making you believe kind of like steve trevor like this dude don't exist mm-hmm. because at first they had me they had me with all my detective skills and movies <laughs> doubting myself like maybe he's not in this maybe, movie maybe he's not because the main one of the main villains danny houston danny houston man can you stop taking these roles please <laughs> dude i'm gonna need you, you to stop. <laughs> i'm like bro I, look people it's funny but if you see x-men origins wolverine you gonna swear he's the same person same dude you like, dude, are you still looking for Wolverine? You went back a couple hundred years to do it, but I'm not you still <laughs> looking for this dude. Uh, but that's what these Marvel characters coming over to DC. What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he he plays uh Colonel Ludendorff. Mm-hmm. Now here's the thing. You know this guy ain't Aries because he is too trigger happy. Yeah. It, it was too on the nose. I'm like yeah. Yeah, he's very emotional. He's not very smart. I'm like you ain't smart. You ain't conniving. You don't have that air about you. Mm-hmm. So you can't be him. So that's why I was like, I was with Steve. I'm like, maybe he don't exist because they had me. They had me because I didn't. I didn't realize it until you know the the last fight with him. That oh, he is here. I just got to figure out which person he is. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they gave him this. Uh, okay, dude, that was cocaine. <laughs> um, Dr. Poison made this thing that he breaks apart and he, he basically snorts, basically snorts it. <laughs> yeah. And he gets like, he doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel, you know, he doesn't feel anything. And he's like super strong. Yeah. There's Dude, a theory. Cocaine, There's a cocaine theory. is a hell of a drug. Right? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> that's just the moral of this. Right? <laughs> I've heard a theory out there that that might be the beginnings of Venom. Oh, the, the Venom. Yeah. Uh, okay. That, that would make sense. A lot of sense, right? That, that that actually makes sense because if you, if if you're a Batman fan, you know there's di- different forms of venom, and one of them is an aerosol type. Mm-hmm. So, I, I can I can believe that. Yeah. Um, that would be cool if they tied that in. That'd be great. If, if they tied that in, yes, in Justice League. Yeah, much um, like uh uh the Super Soldier Serum, you know, leading. Oh to- yeah, yeah. It, it just in a breathable form. Hulk and all that. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. But. It, that that was done in like Doctor Poison herself. Now this is the, this is this this is one of my gripes of the movie is Ludendorff and um, Doctor Poison. Mm-hmm. There are two scenes in this movie where this is straight up. I right, you know what y'all suck as villains. I right? y'all just <laughs> suck as villains because y'all doing some old Rocky and Bullwinkle Natasha and Boris. <laughs> That's what I was thinking myself. I'm sitting here like okay, it, it, there's a scene where they you know because of course the German army is like look man we starving our people. We lost this. We just gotta we gotta talk up this L. Let's go on to sign this peace treaty. Mm-hmm. Right? And he's like, No, we can we can win this in one attack. You're like, man, look, dude, unless you got some money in there or you don't Tony Stark, you need to you need to shut the hell up and let us <laughs> sign this. And he he decides he's gonna kill him and he throws a gas because she perfected her her um gas. He throws one gas mask in there and closes and locks the door, takes some more cocaine, and they're outside, like she's like, Why did you throw a gas mask in there? It's not gonna work. He's like, But they don't know that. <laughs> I, I, like, I kind of like that a little bit. You know why? Let me tell you why. Why? What it made me think of. I just like that little instance there because it made me think of the Joker in Dark Knight when he uh, uh, throws the one knife down for all of them to kill each other off. 
basically. Yeah, it but made Goku me think of that. Funny. Right, it wasn't as good. I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> I kind of liked it. It was nowhere near as good as that, obviously. No. But it just I'm made saying, me like, think of that. I, it made me think of that for a minute. That's why I kind of I'm like Joker would have had a one liner though that would have made me laugh. <laughs> but, but they were definitely weak villains. Like they, they were, they they were so it. weak, and I'm like. Okay, I'm like, please have somebody else show because these people get on my damn nerves. I'm like, she all up there humping the glass with folks <laughs> dying. I'm like, lady, you need to get laid. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I know you got a messed up face, but there's some man that that sit there and say, you know, look, it's three in the morning. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and take care of business. Yeah, let's go take care of business, man. It's a drought on. Let's go and take care of business. <laughs> you know, somebody, but God, they like because that point, I'm like, look, people, and she is basically climaxing on glass. I hate that when they do that with villains. Yeah. Villains so evil that when they see people dying, they <laughs> I can't stand that. I can't stand that. I so they they were definitely weak in my opinion, and I I just honestly. Screw them. I didn't like them. So, <laughs> and that's um, the one gripe you know, I usually have, or a lot of people seem to have, about the Marvel movies that the villains are weak. Yeah, the so maybe movie. having a weak villain help your movie be good somehow. <laughs> you know, it's just like maybe overall we we like the Marvel movies, so maybe that's just a thing that has to happen. That the villain has to be a little bit weaker uh, because the you know the heroes need to be uh, shine more. You know. Yeah, and I kind of I kind of agree with that because like. The, the thing is, like, if you have, like, a strong villain, like, everybody likes the, the Marvel Netflix villains. Mm -hmm. Everybody does. I Break. think the only one that people didn't like was freaking Iron Fist because Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all another thing. <laughs> yeah. But um, most, mostly, most of, most people like the Marvel Netflix villains. But the thing, the, re the reason why you like them, though, is because they build them up over, like, three, like, six, seven episodes. Right, right. You can't do that in a movie. So right. if so it's all about screen time. If you got to devote so much screen time to your hero, somebody's going to be lacking. Unless you just got a, that good of an actor mm -hmm. as your villain, I can pull it off. Yeah, I mean the that's only two, the only two that's done it in Marvel has been Tom Hiddleston as Loki and um, Daniel Bruhl as Zemo in um, Captain America: Civil War. Mm -hmm. You know, those have been the only two in my opinion. Everybody else, you like, you there, but you're like, you know what? We just like the we like the hero and you know what they're doing. So let's just watch him beat you and we get a, we'll get over it. <laughs> right. You're the bad guy. That's all we need to care about. That's all we need to know. Yeah. <laughs> you're the thing we're, you're the thing we're going to be liking to see get destroyed. Right. This is how they did it with the, with how, with them making you believe that Aries may not even exist. Like maybe Aries did that. Maybe, maybe Hippolyta lied to her. Yeah. Because they, they, they made it to her about like who that. was. Yeah. Yeah. Lied to her, like she was the weapon and not that damn sword. Yeah, <laughs> which was hilarious, by the way. That was a good. That was a good. Yeah, a good reveal there. <laughs> that was a very good reveal. Um, the the thing is, I was like, okay, this is gonna need somebody else, and thankfully they did, and they did it with a Harry Potter alum. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and it was as a guy you've seen early in the movie it was yeah. it didn't come out of nowhere. It was mm. you had seen him the whole movie. You would never think that that guy was Aries. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no way. But thinking about it now, he had all the trappings of that guy that's got to be the bad guy because he walked with a cane. Mm -hmm. He was too damn polite. He was too polite. And helpful. Nobody's polite in this world. <laughs> yeah, and, and helpful. And helpful, exactly. I'm like, hold on. You mean tell me this? Yep, he's Aries. And yep. when you see how they did it, they ripped him straight out the comics, and I am thankful for it. Oh, boy. Right so, out of the comics. Now, a lot of people said they did not like the ending because it was one of those big. But look, this ending had to be like that because yeah. the way the setup for it was they, they they foreshadowed it too much in that movie. Right. They foreshadowed it entirely too much in that movie for the setup to be anything different. Now, what I thought was going to happen was Zeus was going to come down because if you know anything about the comics in the Wonder Woman comic, Zeus is still alive. Zeus ain't dead. Alive. No. They just they just don't know where he is. Right. And he technically he came down. Technically. Technically, yeah, <laughs> technically he did. Right at the end, he he showed up in a way. Yeah. So. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the way the way they had this done, and I know, I know um a couple a couple of friends of mine that I talked to on Google Plus, they didn't like this, and I kind of agree with them. They made it where Ares pretty much killed all the other guys. I don't like that. But that's neither here nor there. Um, killed, killed all the other guys. What do you mean? Like you remember they, the the part where oh they, when he, he killed oh you said killed all the other gods yeah oh. he killed all the other gods except for Zeus. And he mortally wounded Zeus, and Zeus mortally wounded him. Yeah, I, well, I just I feel like they had to do that because it's like, well, why aren't these guys helping out? 
You know, it had been one of those situations. It's like, well, yeah, it would it would have it would have tagged on another twenty minutes because they right. would have explained it. Yeah. yeah, but I kind of the reason why I have a problem with it is because I'm such a, a Greek mythology nerd. Yeah. There's no way in hell Aries gonna beat everybody. Well, of course not. Of course not. So, <laughs> I not mean, the guy's good, but he ain't that damn good. No. So, <laughs> and I, 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 I like the, 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 the explanation for the movie, movie wise. But when he comes in and he and he starts explaining what happened, it kind of because he didn't really do anything. He yeah. tells you, I didn't do anything. All I did was whisper to them. I, did, I just inspired them. I didn't tell them to do this. Like the devil when really he did that on their own. Yeah, like he liked the devil. <laughs> yeah, he like I didn't tell them to go kill him. I just gave them a bow and arrow. They the ones that made a missile. I mean, they could have threw a line in saying something like, "Well, um, you know, the the gods can't help because the gods also have rules they have to follow." Yeah, and because he's he's not because he's influencing man. He man is actually doing this stuff himself. They can't interfere. You know, something like that. That would have. Yeah, that that actually would have worked. That, that would have worked, but yeah, that would have worked because and then it would have made sense because right. um when you get to that sequence where he's doing the exposition for that, which is needed by the way, because um he he basically just tells her like, Look, my dad was wrong. Yeah, he, he created him and look, I didn't do this. They did this on their own, coupled with the fact of what Chris Pine said when you know, at the the climax of the movie, when he was like, "Look, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Maybe right. we just maybe we just like this. I don't know, but it can't be just one guy yeah. that's causing all this." And when she saw that, you know, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, so, and I love that because they could have it could have easily been some hammy situation where it's just like, you know, again the boss fight. He's the one bad. We got to get rid of him. They left it up in the air. You know, humans aren't perfect. You know, it's, we we can't blame everything on something we can't see. You know, some some evil, basically some evil being somewhere. That there was some biblical stuff in there. Yeah, it wasn't like ham fisted biblical stuff. It was just it was well delivered biblical stuff. And it's like we can't blame everything on some basically some evil you know being causing all our problems we have to take some responsibility for our own stuff and i i love that man i thought that that's what made the epic battle at the end with you know more weighty and not just you know big boring stupid cg fight you know yeah. because she is getting her ass whooped <laughs> yeah. she, she really is until chris pine does what he has to do because the, the sad thing about it is if they would have let, if they would have let them do it, they were they were gonna wipe out all of England basically, because mm -hmm. the amount of bombs that they had placed on that um, plane, it wasn't gonna just take out London. It was gonna take out that whole island. England was done, and it's just so weird because it's like England, uh, London just had another a terrorist attack like last night. It was last just, night, yeah, yeah. It was just so weird that you know art is imitating life and vice versa, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Real crazy, and Steve does what Steve does. He got in the plane, kicked some ass, mm -hmm. flew the plane up so high that the the gas would just disperse and not really, you know, be harmful to anybody. And he killed himself. Yeah, he and, and, himself. and it wasn't just like, oh, I'm the I'm a heroic guy. He not, had a moment of reflection. He was he was afraid, and yeah, he saw it. And it again. It, that is just expert directing to me. That is just very well done stuff. It, you don't have to, he didn't have to say anything. You can see it all in his eyes. And that's the best way to tell a story is visually. And Patty Jenkins nailed it visually. Yeah, because he made his piece, pulled that gun out. Yep. And she was screaming, no, and you saw him blow up. Yep. And that's when she went Super Saiyan she Gold. Went Berserker Barrage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, uh, Aries, bro. Aries, uh, Aries running hot. Aries, <laughs> Aries, please leave. <laughs> I think you just you just woke up a Super Saiyan. <laughs> exactly, and that's where like the stuff of Aries killing all the gods doesn't mesh well with what's actually what's happening now. Because if one and one woman can handle you, she's just a demigod. Like she yeah. she took you out, son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, in her rage, obviously, but. And that you was know, just her. There's no off. way you're gonna be able to kill all those gods off as Ares. So yeah, that's I, another reason it didn't work as well. Yeah, and and of course, um, they do do the thing where they were like the whole she was made of clay and Zeus gave a life. 
you come to find out that's not how it happened. Yeah. Apollo's alive again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apollo took some, um, <clears throat> got some of that Zeus. Zeus took Apollo for coffee. Zeus, yeah, Zeus was dipping in the tipping. That's what yeah. it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it wasn't no, yeah, it wasn't like that. <laughs> no. It, it, she just go to out of clay. Zeus is Mike Coulter and took her for coffee. <laughs> right. Ze- Zeus is well known for messing with them human ladies and yeah. <laughs> Her- Her- Hercules out there. You know, he got he got a few of them uh, kids, estranged children out there. <laughs> that he know, ain't paying child support. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Ain't no molding out of clay. <laughs> molding out of clay, my ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so let's just say, funny. let's just say, coffee references aside, um. <laughs> and she figured out that she was his daughter at the end because she does she she can actually control some lightning mm-hmm. which actually sir would actually helps her defeat uh Ares. and i liked how they did that i like how they woven that in and then you real and she she realized that yeah my mama kind of lied to me mm-hmm. <laughs> come on um, mama <laughs> mama wasn't mama wasn't exactly honest about my <laughs> it's one of those things like you know i think about like the matrix uh, how it ended and it was just like you know nobody had nobody can tell you who you are you, you have to learn who you are and so it, it's one of those things where well, we can't tell you exactly the fact that yes you were born from Zeus's seed you have to learn that on your own so you can become who you can become if you just you know if you, it's kind of like when you're privileged and you're given right. everything you you can't reach your full potential because you're just used to having everything but she was able to reach her full potential because she learned she discovered who she was you know and that, that's a better way and and, I'm, and they actually they, once again they foreshadowed this all in the beginning because uh, when she leaves, they do the the scene that's straight out the comics again, where um, Hippolyta like you're my greatest uh, love and my greatest regret or something. And on the on the beach when she leaves, mm-hmm. uh, one of the senators, one of the Amazon senators, say, "Should we have told her?" And she's like, "Nope." She needs to find nope. out on her own. Exactly. And I'm like, okay. That's when I figured out I'm looking at because I thought they were gonna do something weird, like say, like she's the daughter of Aries or something. I'm like, please don't do yeah. that. No, no. But <laughs> I'd have ran out of the theater. Yeah, but it, yeah, daughter of Zeus makes sense. Yes. So I mean, now the good the thing about it is they didn't say that Zeus was dead in in the no film. So they got some wiggle room to play with that if they want, because this is gonna get a sequel. I'm sorry. They, they, they said he was weakened and with his last, you know, yeah. Bit of strength that he he created uh, Wonder Woman, but they didn't say he was dead. Yeah, so this is getting a sequel. Let's just go on and say that right now. This is getting a sequel. So <laughs> they I haven't, looked, I haven't checked the box office receipts. I hope it's doing well. I think it is. Yeah, it was doing real well because like I think worldwide it's up to like two eighty something. Oh, okay, beautiful. Worldwide as of like last night. Right, and we still have you know the today rest of the weekend. Yeah, tonight. So, so I, I'm. I, I, if they can they can wiggle Zeus in, that would actually be cool. Um, now, th- my I already told you one of my gripes, which was the villains. I, I just couldn't stand Doctor Poison and and um, Danny Houston's Wolverine. I mean, um, Baron Strike. I mean, um, uh, Ludendorff. <laughs> but the other <laughs> thing was, and this is a, this is a minor little nitpick, but I just I felt it a little bit, and that's the the length. It's two and a half hours, and a. I'm sorry. I don't believe an origin movie should be two and a half hours. I just don't. Um, they, well, they, didn't, they didn't spend that much time on her origin, though. Like if you're talking about like their mascara. No, movie. I mean like the the movie, the origin movie in general. Yeah. Now, not 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 her part of the story, the Paradise Island. Stuff. I'm talking about in general. I I felt like because it, it's two and a half hours, yeah. and I felt like it, they could have trimmed some of that down. I just felt like they could have. I mean, it's not a big thing. What? Not, I, but I, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. But what do you think they could have cut out or trimmed down? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and it, there were moments where I was sitting in theaters, man. Like, well, man, what should happen here? Let's have something happen. But I, everything that I saw, I felt like it needed to be there. I, I, I was trying to edit it in my head. Like, what would I take out? Where would I, you know, trim some from? Well, there was a couple scenes. The, there was a couple scenes with Natasha and Boris. Where, oh, it's not your point. <laughs> where they were um like there's there's a scene it's it's kind of like because the scene i'm talking about is like it's like two minutes here yeah three minutes here it, like when he goes and they're going to the to the new base and everything because after chris pine escapes of course he blows up their 
their original base. So they go into the new base and he kills that dude for no reason. Like that, to me, like that whole part getting in there, I didn't need to see. I don't care. Yeah. I, I really don't care. I, yeah, yes, he's evil. Okay, I get it. He's looking for Wolverine. Let's go. To, <laughs> let's, let's get to the point. And the point of that scene was, all right, where are we at with the gas? Show me the part where he opens the door and does that. I don't need to see him like berate and then kill a German dude that's starving. I don't freaking care. Yeah. At this point, you know, I don't care. And there was there was another couple scenes, and most of my scenes that I, that are like that they have to deal with Natasha and Board. Yeah, I guess honestly, they they didn't need to have that conversation with him and the guys about to sign the peace treaty. They could yeah. you could have just had them talking about it. Him come in there, that he and knows just, he knows what they're doing, and just yeah. do his thing, kill him. They, and they just spent, like, and, and that's another scene because they just spent like I think the scene before that explaining the same thing. We all know this peace treaty being signed. We all understand that. Yeah. So, Maybe that was, uh, you know, the editor and director thinking a little too much and maybe the audience wouldn't follow. You know, that happens. I mean, yeah, you, you're I, kind of in a bubble when you're in that editing room. You don't know what people are going to understanding and what they're going to see. I got you. I got you. But the, I think because like, I think the reason why I, why the re, uh, I know the reason why I'm saying that is because like right before that, there was a scene where they talked about the treaty again. But it was with. Yeah, um, yeah I'm with you. I'm with you. The, the, I'm the, just saying the Harry Potter maybe. dad. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm just thinking maybe from I'm just trying to maybe get some perspective on what they were seeing. You know, maybe that was the excuse for them to add that extra stuff in. Um, maybe they just didn't see the fact that audiences, you know, we followed it. We understood what was going on. We didn't need yeah. more explanation of the treaty. Yeah, we yeah, and that, that's basically like the pl- the, pl- the places that I would have cut just because you know I, I'm sorry if y'all can't tell by now I did I just didn't like them. Yeah, you, <laughs> I just didn't like them. Yeah, you didn't care for them that much, and then you know yeah. less of them was better. And it's like remember the scene in Spider Man. I hate to go back to Spider Man again. The first Spider Man movie where uh, basically they kicked uh, your boy out of the the board. Uh, kicked yeah, the board. That, that scene didn't even need to be there. Right, and you know. Basically, the Wonder Woman equivalent of that would have been Green Goblin come, showing up to them and saying, you sure you guys you don't want to put me back in? You know, you yeah. know, basically, that would have been the equivalent. And, you know, obviously they didn't do that in Spider-Man. So that, that didn't really fit well in this movie either. Again, a small nitpick. Yeah, but, small. It's, it's a small nitpick because, like yeah. I said, the movie is amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to go. I am going to go watch it again. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those situations where you're like, you know, look less w- is more with them yeah because <laughs> me personally i thought they were gonna I, when i first saw the trailers i thought that dr poison was gonna be discord she was gonna wind up being one of the gods and i mm-hmm. thought lou north was gonna be one of one of them as well but when i when when you see them come on screen you're like hell no nah. you know that's not happening yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're that's not just, that incompetent as you know this dude too tricky nah yeah. no he's too happy to kill somebody no he yeah. he's ultra patriotic I like the fact that he thought he could was gonna be able to ha- go toe to toe with Wonder Woman, even with the venom. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's so, that was so funny. It's like, bro, that's not happening, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> and just be glad he didn't want to go any of them other Amazon because you know the, the the big the the big chick that was body slamming everybody yeah. during the training sequence. I'm like, bro, be glad you ain't fight her because she just would have like Diana make it look good. That woman just would have dominated you. <laughs> if that was my, if it was one wish that you know I would have added in was. Some of the Amazon showing up to help out, you know, like during a, a battle or oh, whatever, okay. kind of a battle sequence. I mean, it would have been a little uh, far fetched. Yeah, a little far fetched, but I just liked them so much. <laughs> I just wanted to see them do more. So I, here's hoping they do it in, in part two because, like, yeah. you, you, you can find a way to do it in part two. Oh, yeah. But, uh, hey, can we agree that's like the worst, like, force, force bubble to hide an island ever? Oh, yeah. That was not <laughs> very good. It's like you can see into it. If you're close enough, like, <laughs> that's didn't work. That's, yeah. not, <laughs> that's not how it should work. Like anybody could find that. Just go where the big cloudy bubble is <laughs> and just keep going straight. and keep going. Like this, yeah, that didn't work. Too well. You go and run straight into a to an island full of women. That's probably gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> if you play, if you play your cards wrong. I love the fact that Robin Wright, her character, what's her name? Um, uh, Antiope. Yeah, Antiope. She was in jo- She. Loved seeing those dudes show up. <laughs> like, yeah, she, really like she wanted a fight for so long, and she finally got one. She was in her element, boy. That was, she was like, I hadn't got the stretch in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, and she was spinning. A, the, yeah, she was having a good old time. The beach scene when she slams the arrows down and starts spinning and shooting. Oh I'm like, bro, guys, 
get back in the boat. Don't get out. <laughs> and I love the fact that it wasn't just a complete beast mode. They handled them dudes. You saw them going down. Like you, yeah. I, those times where I was worried for a minute, were they going to take their mascara there when they, you know, the, the bombs and the, you know, oh, yeah. bullets and all that. I'm like, I was worried for a minute, but nah, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't mess you with the Amazonians. No. No, because the thing was like, yeah, they have guns and stuff. But here's the thing: when you have Amazons that have recently watched Attack on Titan, mm. um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you probably not gonna win this fight because they were coming out of everywhere and uh, them arrows. Went they had the high ground the too. That's another thing. They had the high ground. You yeah probably gonna lose that fight, bro. Every time, and then on top of that, they were they were, they're more able to defend their beach because they know their terrain. Right. And yeah, they got a few of them, but and they, you know that ship wasn't gonna win. Bombs, you know that was. I was like, oh man, that, that ship's taking out a few of them with the that bombs and whatnot. They were shooting at them, and uh, didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> didn't matter. He got overwhelmed after a minute. So yeah, because like when you saw the when they used the bomb, the first shell. That's yeah. when you saw her pilot to get off the horse. Yeah, she was like, all right, it's, it's time. Like no, she was like enough of this. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, so that's why her and Antiope are the best. Right. Like geez. and it just it's it I hated to see NTOB go down like uh yeah. but somebody she had to go because one of them had to. you knew I, I thought you know I thought maybe it would be an apol apol oh my god I can't even say her name help me out Apolita <laughs> Apolita thank you yeah I thought it would be her um but you know it made sense for yeah I mean and on top of that like she would have. Hippolyta, if if Antiope was there Hippolyta would have been I think she would have been easier letting her go. Yeah, but because she just lost her sister, yeah, and her daughter's trying to go, and because they knew she was going to have to leave at one point anyway, they knew. Yeah, they knew it. They knew it. They both knew it. That's why they knew I, what she was about, and they didn't yeah. tell her. Obviously, like I said, but there was a reason why they didn't tell. Just outright tell her. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, you have to discover who you are. That's yeah, and then that's that's one of the great things about it. And I, there's another thing that I loved about this movie. They showed a movie because I look. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest, man. I was a little fr afraid that it was gonna be on some like, we hate men. Yep. That's during this movie. Um, Actually, I was never worried about that. I was. I was a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to. I have to say, I'm glad that they show. Like, look, it's. You don't have to patronize men to. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to do that. To like, show that you have a strong woman. You have a strong. No. You don't have you to just, do that. You can show people on equal terms. And and you have you know in some cases you have every right to because you know, women get patronized in movies yeah um, yeah uh, but you know you gotta fight you gotta fight uh, fire with love you know? yeah <laughs> you gotta you can't you d d don't do what the idiots do do better than them so yeah and, and I'm glad that they did that because glad that they took the high ground yes yeah because the, the, taking the high road in this situation was actually very neat especially after what happened in Austin with them trying to do something a little special. Right. And some one of the one of the writers getting mad and trying to start a freaking boycott. Oh, punk ass! Um, <laughs> but uh, the 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 thing is, I, I'm glad that they they showed that it was equal. There were no dudes in distress. Right. They, they didn't beat you over the head. That yes, yeah, she's so much more powerful than everybody. That she could do it by herself. No, she can't. We knew that before we got in the movie. Like the yeah. <laughs> that, that she didn't need no man help. You know. Yeah. And I but, was glad that the movie didn't like pandered to that you know? yeah and it, and it basically showed showed everybody that, look yes yeah, she don't need the help but she did need it right because she did need backup yeah exactly she you know need, they helped each other she yeah, they helped she, each other it she wasn't like, across that field without them and yeah, she was not yeah i mean not as bad as that scene was yes yeah, she did need the help because yeah oh boys they shot the gunners out before yeah. she got over there she needed that cover she needed yeah she did um, when she got in the village they was providing cover and it wasn't like they wouldn't they weren't doing them but just looking at her Right. No, they was actually helping. They like they were doing things. They were yeah, taking. They were doing out. things. It, in the, even in the end fight scene, um, the the climactic fight scene, they helped because mm -hmm. her focus was on Aries, and that gas was still gonna get off that. Right. <laughs> and they couldn't have that happen. Right. Like, in other words, yes, she's a demigod, but she can't be everywhere at once. Can't be everywhere. Yeah, you know, and that's what and, the movie was explaining, without overbearingly telling you that it just yeah. shows you visually that she can't be everywhere, and she needs humans to help her. You know, to get there. You know. Yeah, and I, I'm glad they showed that because, like, that's one of the main reasons why Justice League she actually comes to help. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main reasons why she does come to help. Um, in, in the and, Justice and, League and comics. It, and you know what's so cool? It, 
this movie makes Batman be Superman better because you get to see, you know, yeah. what she's coming from and her thinking. And that's that's that is really cool. <laughs> when a movie that came out after can make a, a movie uh, that came out before it better. That Reason is... number six. Well, Batman vs. Superman should not have came out first. Mm. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it should have. Maybe this is the way it should have came out because you you kind of appreciate it better. I think here's, here's, here's the thing. Like, Batman... <laughs> Here's why I'm saying that Batman v Superman, regardless, is not gonna is not a better movie than Wonder Woman. No, you know what I'm saying. So no. why go from Wonder Woman to Batman v Superman? You know what Your I'm saying. Point. Your point. <laughs> right. So I think this is probably the better way for it to happen. Yeah, I'm just I'm glad that you know their movies are getting steadily better. Mm-hmm. That's that's why I'm glad, Joss Whedon, You know what to do. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that there's resaturate, that man. Resaturate. Yeah. <laughs> Just turn the filters off. Um, but I, I'm I'm glad that that they are. Like I said, the, there's there's no reason to keep going, keep harping on it. But yeah, full price movie will be added to my Blu-ray collection. Oh no doubt, no doubt. Um, you should go see it. if you if you are by a theater that has a D box. I was uh watch it in D box. The D box is great for it. It's not like too crazy because of how they shoot their action sequences. It's actually a really good uh experience. I'm not like a Transformers experience where everything happens in the last hour of the movie and you oh, stick to man. your stomach. But <laughs> if you do have a chance to watch it in D-Box, please, by all means, check it out in D-Box. It's worth the price. Yeah, I'm so, going to see it again, so that's probably how I'm going to see it next time. Yeah, it, like I said, it is completely worth the price. So, uh, T, final thoughts? Final thoughts is, is looking beautiful in the land of DC. This movie was awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it from start to finish. Um, again, Gal Gadot, you were the queen of the world. You did your thing. I was uh, one of the naysayers, and you proved me wrong, and I couldn't be happier about somebody proving me wrong. So um, everybody needs to go out and see this movie. You're a comic book fan or you're just a regular fan of movies, you need to go see it because it, it rocked. So. Oh, and, and let me add to this. If you do have, like, a little girl or a niece or something, go take them to go see Oh, you. Oh, I, I, I should. Go I, take them to see I'm you. surprised I didn't say this. My daughter, I took my little girl, she's five years old, to see it. She, I, this is an experience I think she's going to remember for a long time. She, I mean, she loved Wonder Woman before this. She mm. was actually Wonder Woman as a, in a Halloween, last Halloween. And uh, for her to actually see, you know, she saw Batman v Superman too, but for her to see Wonder Woman in this capacity, leading the movie, being the star of the film, um, I think that did, I think that just was very telling and it's very good for young girls to have this superhero yeah, uh, that they can latch on to. Yeah, because it's not a, like, it's not a vulgar movie. And and you don't see no. like yes, just there's fighting in it, but you don't see gore. You don't. No, see there's it. no gratuitous violence yeah. in it at all. So it, it's very well done. So you can you can take young kids to see this. Like yes, it's PG-13 because it has to be because of the action sequences and stuff. But um, you can take them to see. It's a very like I said, if you have a niece or or just like somebody that you're mentoring or something, take them to see the yeah. movie. It like I said, they will enjoy it. I don't see anybody not enjoying this movie unless you're just trying to be contrarian. Exactly. Yeah, PG thirteen means parental guidance thirteen and under. Like that's yeah. you, as long as you're there as a parent watching it with them, you don't just throw them in there by themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> don't know, don't so. do like some people did when they go see Deadpool and Logan and leave their kids in there and then <laughs> wonder why their kids are crazy and crying when they come out. <laughs> All right, don't do that. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, why your child disturbed in the first six minutes of Logan? And you, <laughs> <laughs> PG thirteen. That was like a kids movie in the eighties, anyway. So that's... yeah, like we were going to see rated R movies. So. Exactly. We ain't had no business in the <laughs> Exact. This is a good movie, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you have children, go watch it. It's very inspiring. It actually gives me a lot of hope because like a lot of actors and actresses from Marvel have been complimenting Lupita Nyong'o, who's going to be in um, Black Panther, Chris mm-hmm. Hemsworth. Everybody's been giving, giving up some good praise for um, Wonder Woman. And I'm glad because y'all know what I've been saying. I've been supporting DC because I want my Static Shock movie. Got to have Static Shock, man. So, like I said, the more if you, the, the more they see, the better they get, the more, the more willing um, DC and WB will be to take risks. So, hey, we got we got Spider-Man being young. So, yeah. I mean, lady, the Static I mean, Shock movie. You need to support this movie, not just because obviously there's a lead female yeah. and it's Wonder Woman. It is a great film. Yeah, it is a great film. Yeah. Regardless. So you need to go out and go see it. Now, um, black people, next February, 
Y'all need to go watch that movie regardless. I don't care. <laughs> exactly. I don't care who's stuck. You better go watch. You better go see Black Panther. The movie's called Black Panther. Get your ass up, bro. <laughs> Take your ass up damn movie here. and go see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> we, that, that's a joke, people. No, yeah, that, we, we just playing. All right, <laughs> we just okay. playing. Y'all get mad. Okay. We just playing. But <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed our review. We're gonna be doing. We're probably gonna do another one for Spider Man. I refuse to go watch um, Transformers. So mm, I ain't doing that. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> nah. So we'll probably do another one for Spider Man, and we'll probably see you guys again on that one. T, you got any um anything you want to pimp out before we get out of here? Nope. Just like I always say, it's gonna be regular videos coming out of my channel. So just mm-hmm. stay tuned. All right, and same for me. It's gonna be some regular. Vi- I might start back doing last calls. Um, because I found some funny stuff, and I just think it's hilarious how people get so pissed off and like, dude, they didn't even explain anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> um. I might start back doing those, but we will see you guys on our next vid. Peace out, peeps. Peace.